And today is day eight, of turning my garage into a 3D printing startup business. There's a lot going on behind me, so let's see what changed. I've got the first PLA spools ready to go. Yesterday, we stabilized the garage to around 40% humidity, which is the ideal range for the PLA. So now I can finally get filament loaded onto the farm and get these printers ready for their first jobs. So I'm going to use a lot of the green up that came with the P1Ps. I already purchased a bunch of green previously, uh, so at this point the first prints uh, that we're going to do aren't super critical uh, and any generic color will work for it. The A1 combos are going to be doing most of the multicolor prints in this farm, which I anticipate to be a pretty significant portion of the overall jobs. Loading filament into the AMS is straightforward. And now that we have the humidity under control, I don't have to worry about moisture causing extrusion issues. And now that I have all the green filament that came with the P1Ps loaded up, I'm going to grab some random colors uh, from the filament that I have and get them loaded on the rest of the printers. I'll go ahead and grab two grays. I'll grab two yellows. I'll grab a matte pink. And I will grab four black. So now that we have the rest of the filament selected that we are going to be using for the initial prints on the farm, let's go ahead and get them loaded into the P1Ps. Now these P1Ps are not set up with the optional AMS, so they're going to be printing a single color. These machines are fast, they're reliable, and they're perfect for single dedicated tasks. Getting filament loaded into these is quick, and once that is done, we will almost be ready for our first prints. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the printers turned on and get the hot end heating up so that we can go ahead and get the printers loaded uh, and ready for printing. Now that we have all the PLA loaded up, and the printers are ready to start their first prints. I'm going to start with something simple. PLA waste baskets. Now these baskets are used to contain the waste, which is a natural byproduct of the printing process. And without these baskets or these catch containers, they would just be thrown on the racks and on the floor and create a huge mess that would take a lot more time to clean up than if I had something like this. 
And I think these are a great first print for the farm. All right, guys, so I am in Maker World. I'm on a desktop. It's about 20, 30 feet from my garage. Uh, it is as simple as typing in waste basket. Then you can see you have a bunch of different options that you can choose from. I've already printed a couple before, so I'm just gonna go to library, go to more. You can see one here. This is different than the one I just showed. It has the taller sidewalls, uh, which I prefer. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna send this to the A1. So there it is. Um, I'll do one. I wanna get each printer. Uh, active so i'm going to go ahead and send one to each and i'll send the p1ps uh, to the p1s and we'll go from there slice it okay we are good to go let me send all right guys i'll see you out there. And this is officially the first print of the farm, guys. Seeing those first layers go down, it's a big moment. After days of setup, wiring, and prep, the printers are finally running. Now that the prints are running, I'll begin to develop a standard workflow. Having the tools unboxed and organized, placed into their own location, having a spot for finished products and prints. This will develop over the coming days as more items get finished. Well guys, today, day eight, is a real turning point. The farm is now printing. Tomorrow, I'll be adding an air scrubber to help with the air quality now that everything is moving. This will be one of the last steps uh, to get this space production ready. As always, thank you for coming along for this journey and I hope to see you tomorrow.